Hello Inspire Artists, welcome to your Inspire Arts Ed class. My name is Miss Vicki and I will be your Inspire Arts Ed instructor for today. So today we are going to draw a super cute baby owl, a fall owl. So I'm kind of in the fall mood right now. An owl is a really great thing to draw. So if you're doing this to decorate your classroom or decorate your room, if you're doing this at home, this is a really great addition. So um, let's go ahead and go over some of your supplies. So you will need a piece of paper. Um, I am actually using cardstock as always, one of my go-to papers. Um, I am using chalk pastel. So I have brown, orange, red, and yellow warm tones. Um, I'm also having a little bit of white paint, paintbrush, um, Sharpie, and a pencil. So we're gonna go ahead and actually get started. So the first thing you're going to do, now I do have my picture um, landscape, meaning it's elongated this way, but you can actually turn your paper however you want. Um, write your name on it. If you are um, in a class, go ahead and write your name. But we are actually gonna go ahead and get started. So first things first, so our baby owl, it's not gonna be very big, okay? So first I'm just going to, um, just kind of mark off how big I want it. So I'm actually gonna make mine hmm, probably, I would say a little bit smaller than my hand, probably like about from here to here. So you're just gonna mark off how big you want it. So I'm gonna mark it about this big. And then from here, I'm going to draw, or I'm gonna dot off, I'm plotting, right? I'm gonna plot off his head and it's gonna be so, so round. So here we go rounded head great now from here I'm gonna go ahead and sketch it out really lightly okay so if you are doing this make sure you just kind of sketch it out um, lightly so it's easier to erase if we need to erase I don't think we'll be needing to erase a lot so from here I'm going to also draw a little body a little half circle body like this cute it's already cute can you guys already feel the cuteness I can feel the cuteness so just like this. All right, so this is where um, we're, it's up to you how big you want his eyes to be or her eyes to be. So what I'm going to do, so make sure you guys are watching. Okay, I normally like to draw kind of like a C shape. So I'm, and my owl is kind of looking up a little bit. So I'm gonna draw a little C shape. This is just like a little technique that I use. But if you want to do a circle, circle, you're welcome to do that. Um, and then from here, I'm actually going to draw his cute little triangle beak. Okay, it's exaggerated, of course. Um, their beaks are not this small, okay, because they're they're powerful hunters and they definitely use that to eat rodents and stuff in the night. Um, but we're going to exaggerate these a little bit. And then from here, I'm going to draw. Oh, do you guys see it? I see it. It's cute. Ah, yikes. I overdid that one here. Cool. So I've got my eyes here, I got my nose here, then I'm going to have this cute little, cute um, wings. And then of course, you're gonna have his cute, and then, so I just did two oval shapes. And then from here, I'm just gonna draw these the little kind of like, um, I, I, I always think about they look like little horns. But I kind of, you guys could draw these up straight up. You guys could draw it sideways up to you. I kind of had them go down a little bit just because, you know, just as a visual effect. Now from here, I'm gonna add kind of like a zigzag for the fuzziness of the, of the feathers. And then I'm gonna add this kind of like curved shape here. Um, and I'm also going to add it here too, kind of like a, an accentual, an <laughs> accent, an accent to um, his face. Um, great. All right, you could add little lines here. I'm also going to add kind of like these little markings on his chest. Cute, so cute. Um, I am going to also add now the highlights in the eyes. Um, and then friends, if I'm going too fast, which I know I do go really fast sometimes, please feel free to pause the video if you need to. I'm actually gonna take a quick break right now just so you could see, and I'm gonna recap what, how far we've gotten. 
So we did a circle first, a circle for the body, then the C shapes, big giant C shapes for the um, eyes, like C oval shapes. Then we added smaller shapes here. Okay, so if, I'm just doing a quick recap, friends. If you're if you're plugging along and you're you know exactly where what you're doing, your next step is actually this. You can actually erase this line. You don't need this line in here. Cool. So um, you can go ahead. I'm just going to add a little bit of this detail here. So if you guys want to wait and see what I'm doing here, all I'm doing is I'm actually adding a little bit more emphasis on the side of the eyes, just like this. Cute. I'm just dying of cute, you guys. Great. So thank you for being here with me today. If I haven't told you how much I love spending time with you, um, especially spending time with you doing art, of course. So I just kind of made the sides a little bit bigger. Okay, so if you guys notice, I just kind of added a little bit more. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, um, but I think it just kind of helps add a little bit more to it. Now from here, let's add a little bit of kind of where he lives. So I'm adding a tree branch. So you can make this tree branch however you want. Going here, and I'm gonna come down. Cool. All right, so I think we're ready. If you're still drawing, keep going. Um, if you wanna add more stuff, go for it. If you're ready for Sharpie, this is all you're gonna do. Okay, so we're just gonna Sharpie all of the lines. If you guys wanna add more kind of lines here, you can just to add more texture to it. So sometimes texture doesn't necessarily mean a way we color it in. You can easily add texture with line. So notice I'm just adding texture now, just by adding some little lines to it. Oh, too cute. All right. So you're just tracing everything like this. Okay, and then for the eyes, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm actually gonna color it in. You can change the color of your owl's eyes if you want. So if you want your owl eyes to have blue eyes, green eyes, whatever it may be, you can do that. I'm going to use black just because it's a little bit more striking for me. Oh, too cute. Okay. But this is your creation and you could kind of create it however you want. Great. So, and then the cool thing about this um, artist is that once you kind of get the idea of how to do this, you guys could make a whole group of them. Maybe they're brothers and sisters. Again, this is a really great one to do um, during the fall season. Um, Thanksgiving, it's great for a fun activity to do in class. Nice. Oh, And then I'm going to add this in and I'm going to color that in in black. Okay, I'm going to add these. Mm. I'm gonna open these lines here. Great. And making my tree branch. Cool. All right. And if you are like me and you accidentally miss some lines, that's okay. It's okay. If you're waiting for the next step, um, you can take your eraser and erase out all your pencil lines if you're just kind of waiting for your friends or for your class, okay? Um, otherwise, we're gonna move right into coloring.